Okay, in this vectors problem we have an antenna that is a guide by three cables as shown here. Knowing that the tension in cable AD, in this one back here, we have a tension of 270 pounds. They want us to replace this force that exists here with a force and couple system down here at center of the base at point O of the antenna. Okay, first what I'm gonna do, I'm, let's take a look at this force. This is a O and A, the antenna itself. And we have the tension in the cable A and D. We don't, we don't need to do anything with the other ones. They are just there and that's it. But they want us to worry about this one right now. Tension in A, D. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take A, D and we're gonna redraw it down here at point O. We're gonna take this one and draw it here exactly in the same angle and magnitude. Nothing changes, but we're gonna also do its uh, opposite, in the opposite uh, direction. So this is FAD, this is negative FAD in the other direction. So basically nothing changes here. The two forces would cancel each other out and we're back to the same system we had here. But by ignoring this force right here, we can see that these two now give us a nice uh, couple system. So out of these two, we can calculate a moment. And when we're going to redraw our system again, this is O and A, the antenna. We can have the force here, the one that we didn't use in the couple. So we're going to have this one and we're going to mark the moment that we had. So therefore, there's nothing up here anymore. The AD force is gone. And down here we have the new force, the one that we brought down, and a moment. All we did is just rewrote the same system in a different way that we had here. Physically, nothing changes on the antenna. So first, let's calculate our force. Our force, we're going to rewrite it. Down here, we're going to the force in vector form you're gonna have the magnitude times the unit vector and from here well we have this is the formula that i'm referring to you can see and uh, the unit uh, for, uh, magnitude times the unit vector and the unit vector we can calculate by the position vector and divided by these okay that is what we're using here we plug in, find our values, and we're going to find our force to be right here in component form. Negative 90i, negative 180j, negative 180k pounds. Okay, now that we have this, we can go ahead and calculate our moment. So for the moment of a couple, we're going to refer to this setup, the... We have this circle, a wheel or whatever here, and we have force 1 and force 2, and we have a distance between them, the diameter. So the moment around this point would be the force 1 times half of the distance, from point, basically from half of D, so from point O, or whatever this is in the center, to the force, plus the other force, times this other half distance. Okay, if we add this up, we see that the moment equals df. So a couple's moment is force, they are equal, so the force times the total distance between the two forces. And this is what we're going to work with. We're going to use the couple, the moment of the couple, which is the same as the moment of this force around point O, but the entire distance, not half. So the couple, or the way it was in the formula, here we could see that it's about the center. So this couple would be rotating about this center. So this moment is the same as the moment of just this one force with this total distance. So the moment of the couple equals the moment about point O 
of the force AD but we're gonna use the cross product right here which at the moment about a point so that is the cross product of the position vector cross the force IJK position vector force component we're gonna do our matrix and then we can get our moment and we have negative 23,040i plus 11,520k pound feet and this would be our solution the the new system that we created here which is equivalent to the old one that we had here is the force which we calculated here plus the moment that we calculated and it's marked right here